Now, the coordinating minister of health and social welfare, Professor Ali Pate, has unveiled a four-point agenda to guide the leadership of the sector and achieve the mandate of President Bola Tinubu. Professor Pate, while speaking at a press conference in Abuja on Saturday, listed the four pillars as health governance, population health outcomes, medical industrialization, and health security in terms of preparedness and outbreaks. We will appraise the leadership of our teaching hospitals, federal medical centers, and specialist hospitals so that there is a way to appraise performance and minimize the political interference because health is too important to be just left in the realm of politics just by itself. We'll strengthen the regulatory capacity of our institutions. The human resources is the most important ingredient for producing health. Lifeblood of health system is, is people, wherever they are. So we have met with the stakeholders. We said we'll work as a team. We are all health providers. There are leaders within those health provision practices. But at the end of the day, it's all of us collectively, as Nigerians, in a unified way that will need to work better. Those talents have to be trained, deployed, retained, and the quality of what they deliver ought to be improved. And hopefully, those who have gone away can begin to find their way back home and we'll do more with our colleagues in the education ministry and the state governments and the private sector to expand the production of the health workforce that we're losing. The third bucket is this whole area of medical value chain, medical industrialization. We have not attended to it. If I say that 70% of our generic pharmaceuticals are imported from countries that are just like us, that we don't produce our vaccines, that almost 90% or more of our medical devices are imported. Yet we have unemployed youth, we have engineers, we have factories who are constrained by other issues, power, ease of doing business. But in health, that unlocking the healthcare value chain is so vital. Outbreaks when they happen, whether they are cholera, and there will be outbreaks, whether it's Lassa fever, whether it's meningitis, whether diphtheria, they will happen because we have left our health security very low, we would invest more, and the NCDC is here, and others are here, to ensure that we strengthen our public health core capabilities to serve surveillance, to be able to respond to outbreaks sooner before they get out of hand. Our Minister of State for Health and Social Welfare, Dr. Tunji Alausa, addressed plans to digitalize the sector and revive local research. We will begin to digitalize our healthcare system. Digital, digitalization of our healthcare system, because it, in this day and age, if you don't have good data, validated data, you can, you're, you're, you're just like throwing that in the dark. We need to begin to make sure that the data we collect, those data are accurate, they're validated, they can be trusted internationally and, and locally, and those data will begin to use to deliver care to our people. We would put more money into research because as you do more research, we can begin to be, we, we begin to be self-dependent on our pharmaceuticals, on our medical devices, and even on, our, on the way we put policy standard operating procedure, policy and procedure to get together. The coordinating minister also spoke on social welfare, stated that the ministry would collaborate with relevant stakeholders to deliver in that regard.